Okay, hello everybody and welcome back to another video guys. In today's video guys, I'm going to be playing some COD Cold War. And I'm going to be using snipers. I have never actually used a sniper in multiplayer except for one game. And in that one game that I tried them out with, I got a 10 KD. So I did good, but that was a while ago. And I want to see if I'm still good with them. So let's get right into it. So for the people that have seen my COD Modern Warfare Car 98K video slash montage, I am pretty darn good with snipers in Modern Warfare. But there's two things different here. In Cold War, I've only used controller for my... Um, sniper tries for, for for the first time I tried a sniper, and I'm now using a mouse and keyboard. So let's hope that I'm still good with them. Okay, so we're about to get into the first game here, and I'm going to be using the LW3 Tundra just to see if that's a or if that's one of the good snipers because this was the one I used, but. I, again, have only used it once, and I haven't used any other snipers, so I have no clue how any of the other snipers will react to when I'm playing with them. And holy moly, is there a lot of ADS time. We're taking control. I forgot how much ADS time this gun has, even with iron sights. Okay, I need to figure out some something different, different class or whatever, or different setup for the gun, because this ADS time is way too much. Ooh. Only a hit marker. There we go. Oh well, the feet did pretty terrible. Sixteen. Er, er, 11 and 16. Okay. Okay, so for this next game, I have decided to switch it up a little. Because, apparently, I am terrible with the sniper. Got a few good kills, but nothing really extreme. A few nice flicks and quick scopes, but pretty much it. And now I'm going to be cheesing with a MAC-10... To ultimately show how overpowered it is and how you don't even need to ADS for it to be absolutely insane. Okay, so second game on the Pines map. Not sure how this will go, only because MAC 10 insane, especially on maps like Newtown, because of how close quarters most of it is. But on Pines, not exactly sure how this is going to play out. There's going to be a lot of longer range spots, and those might not be so beneficial for this MAC-10, especially since it's not really designed to ADS. It's mainly meant to cleanly sweep in, take everybody out, and get, er, and get out of there as quick as possible. So, not exactly sure how this is going to play out. And also, we are playing on uh, controller again, because, personally, I think it's way easier to use MAC-10 on controller. There we go. Shredded him pretty well. Not exactly. But... Mainly need to increase my sensitivity here. Doesn't feel too high here, but shredded one guy pretty well. Missed most of my shots, but I was a little too close there. There we go. Stuff like that is where this thing becomes really overpowered. And with a 53 round mag, this thing is going to be able to shred through multiple people very quickly. Now, there might be faster time to kill weapons, personally, with air, there might be faster ones, but to me, this thing is going to, uh, 
outperform most of the time only because of the maneuverability and the ability not even to have to ADS with this thing. I do it all the time where I don't even ADS, but of course at longer ranges you're not going to be winning most of those gunfights only because you can't accurately hit those shots. Maybe if you're on PC and you can kind of predict it, but on console this thing is insane and you're going to be outperforming most people if you're using a, a or a controller. Oh wait, what? Huh? Huh? Not doing my best with this thing. This thing has done better, but of course it's longer range map. You're not getting the best spots with it. You're you're getting those longer spots that don't have as many or as many places to cover behind and push in forward to get easier kills. So I just saw a guy go up. Never mind. I did see a guy go up there. Now I didn't. Friend help there pretty well. I stopped shooting way too early on that one. Didn't mean to, but I let go thinking he was dead. And 13 and 4. That is how insane this weapon can be. If used, if put into the right hands. Oh, I thought I got a kill there. Uh, only got one kill there. I thought I got two for a second. There's a lot of people over there. I'm dead. Yep. Kind of predicted it. Kind of didn't. Had it in my head. Didn't say it yet. I might want to go play a different game now. There you go. Heard him coming up. Kind of camper for that, but don't care. Ah. Probably yeah. thought he was going to get me, but didn't. Cruise Missile is not the best on this map, only because we don't get many chances to uh, hit people, especially in an enclosed, or in giant enclosed areas, but still got two kills. Now, now I have not actually tried out the new weapons, so kind of looking forward to once I unlock those to see how those will play out, but as of right now, haven't tried them. And have no clue if they're good or bad or I haven't even watched any videos on them so I really have no clue how they play out but I do know how the Mac 10 plays out and as you can see from the scoreboard 26 and 7 is insane with a solid 3.7 KD Oh, there's somebody coming! Ah! A little too late on that one. There is one thing, Shut though, up. that I need to get used to, and that is reloading, because I absolutely love to reload after killing somebody, because back in older Call of Duty and Battlefield days, I always use weapons with small magazines and fast kill, de er, um, kill death times. Or, or shoot the kill times, whatever, and uh, they were pretty good, but again, they had really bad uh, 
magazines, so I had to reload constantly. And that's kind of where my... Uh, where my instinct to press X to reload comes in. Great job, CIA. No fuss, no wow. Fuss. Pretty good 31 good and 13. 2.38 KD. Top of the scoreboard. P pretty, pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, so sadly I did not have the LC-10 unlocked. But I'm going to be trying the Groza because, again, I have not actually tried it. And I want to try that as well. Used it a lot in Warzone but not in Cold War, and I just want to see how, how it plays out and how good it is. I know these are kind of older weapons, but let's, let's just see if they're still good. Just started the game here. Pushing up forward. Pretty good time to kill, I guess. I don't, I don't really know. I didn't really get a good look at that I wasn't really paying attention but whoops but uh from from what I saw it was pretty good took out their sharpshooter not sure about the range pretty bad at range um but on certain maps I can see this actually being pretty good um, especially if you use the right attachments and the right play style. If you're trying to play long distance, you're not going to be able to play this at all. You're going to have to close in the distance just like the MAC-10. Personally, I think the MAX 10 is better only because it has, or to me, it feels like a way faster time to kill. But then again, it's all up to how you personally... Uh, play the game. Okay. Um, personally, was not ready to do what I just did there. I, I did not think I would ever be able to get those long range. Or that long range of a kill. Going to pick up a new weapon. Switch sides. There goes one kill. Another kill. Another kill. Confirming kill. The uh, DMR is really good, but didn't think it was this good. Another kill. Contact down. I saw him at the last second. Okay, well, we have a few kill streaks ready. Let's go ahead and get those out the way. Triple kill with that, and then let's just go ahead and plop that right down there. See if we can get a few kills with that. Groza seems to be pretty good. Not too good. Er, I don't like the amount of ammo that we have with this thing. But I do hope that it uh, that once I get a few more um, upgrades on this bad boy, we'll be able to uh, make this. Wow, that was a voice crack right there. Make this thing even more overpowered than it already is. Kill. 
CXD detected. Wow. So I'm doing even better this game than last game with 23, or sorry, 24 and 3. Meaning that I have an 8 KD. But now, as I say that, it's going to go straight down to negative 3. Most likely. Not realize he was that close. Spy plane standing by. Spy plane yep. There you go. Ooh. Was there somebody there? Okay, maybe not. Don't have any more ammo, so uh, could be in a lot of uh, danger here, but we're going to try to use what we have left and see if we can get any more kills. Nope, moved. Of course, that's what I would do. I only have a few bullets left. Let's pick up a different gun here. Sniper. I really never want this weapon, especially with the sights it has on here. Pretty darn fast kill time. Forgot uh, forgot uh, how, how good this thing was. But, uh... It's, it's okay, it's not as good as the DMR, but it'll get the job done. The sight absolutely sucks, though. I would personally never use this sight ever. But, uh, doing pretty good here. I got flat. I can't see anything. There we go. Woo. That was a close one right there. Let's go ahead and call in a cruise missile. And uh, let's go ahead and take out those two. Um, where else? Anybody else roaming around here? Can't, can't hit him. Need to move back. Don't got no ammo. Not doing so good. Ah! Don't got no, not much ammo. Really don't got no much, not much ammo around here. Oh, this is, this is not what I want. This is definitely not what I want. Oh, of course he moved last second. Ooh. Was not ready for that kill. I, I personally did not think I was going to get that at all. But I proceeded to get it. Ooh. Final kill. Pretty good. 15... Katie, look at that. 45 kills, 3 deaths, 14,000 points.
just overall absolutely insane. Okay, so that's going to end it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy, especially Sweet Crisp last game. Pretty, pretty good. And pretty, pretty fun. With a 45 kills and 3 deaths, 14, 14 15 KD. Pretty much my best game ever in Call of Duty history. And I hope you guys did enjoy. And if you guys did, please hit that like button and subscribe. And I'll see you guys all later.